What's going on everybody? Beastly Gamer here and 2014 is just about over. We have a lot of things to look back at. A lot of great games were released this year. Some games were released broken and there's a lot to reflect on. Fortunately now PlayStation Network is back up. Lizard Squad did destroy Christmas for many millions of gamers in 2014. Uh, but Sony has announced that PlayStation Network is back up, Xbox Live is back up, and that's good news. Uh, unfortunately, I don't see any real reason for these hackers to stop. There doesn't appear to be anything that Sony and Microsoft can do to avert or avoid uh, these DDoS attacks. A DDoS attack is a denial of service attack, which makes your servers begin to think that they're overloaded with information. It's too much information at one time, and it causes the system to crash. Uh, and from what I understand, there's really no way uh, for these companies to stop a DDoS attack unless they start to filter the incoming traffic from different IPs and whatnot. Hopefully, these guys are learning a lesson. I do hope that they get caught and, uh, you know, I hope that they serve whatever time uh, is, is justifiable for a crime like this. Now, 2014 is just about over. We got two more days until the end of the year. And uh, I wanted to reflect back on some games and uh, give you guys my thoughts on them. And I also wanted to hear from you guys in the comment section below what games were the best games of the year for you, what were some of maybe your letdowns of the year, and what you thought of 2014 uh, all in all. For me, the first big game of the year that I really enjoyed was Infamous Second Son. That game was a really fun game. Uh, unfortunately, after I beat the game, I lost all desire to play because it didn't include much more than the story mode, uh, which was kind of a letdown because the gameplay was really fun and the story was mediocre, but it was a really fun experience. One of my, my favorite gaming experiences of the year, uh, I have to say, Probably my game of the year. I'm going to say that. My game of the year is Bayonetta 2 for the Nintendo Wii U. Uh, it's just a, a very fun game. It put together really well. Controls really well. I really like Bayonetta as a character. And uh, it, it was just like a gem out of nowhere. Bayonetta 2 is my game of the year. I enjoyed playing The Last of Us this year. I really enjoyed playing Destiny this year. I'm really getting back into Destiny now. Uh, there was just a ton of great games that came out this year. Some games I haven't even tried yet. I want to play Shadows of Mordor. I want to play Dragon Age Inquisition. I've never played that. Uh, just a, a myriad of really awesome, great games. PlayStation Network's PlayStation Plus perks have been awesome this year. Even with games like uh, uh, Injustice Gods Among Us just recently coming out. Just imagine, PlayStation 4 got a total of 24 free games in 2014 so that's a hell of a deal and uh, I really appreciate that that kind of gratuity from a company and I'm really looking forward to see what happens in 2015 PlayStation Vita was kind of a letdown this year uh, they did release a few good games at the end of the year but but pretty much I feel like the Vita is breathing his last breath it uh, doesn't appear to be any really good first party titles coming to the Vita everything seems to be indies at this point or things that are ported from the PS3 and very few of those are actually even good so the Vita was kind of a let down in 2014 I think the PS4 was a really great system it performed really well I didn't like Call of Duty Ghosts as much I really enjoyed Advanced Warfare Advanced Warfare was a great game uh, and uh, I haven't played it as much as I wanted to unfortunately I feel like I may have played Ghost probably five times as much at this period of time because there's so many other games, great games to play. Smash Brothers on the Nintendo Wii U, awesome game. Smash Brothers on the 3DS, both of my sons got it for Christmas. Uh, these games were awesome and uh, I'm really looking forward to see what Nintendo does in uh, 2015. Uh, Mario Kart for the Wii U, awesome game. And there's a, a ton of Xbox One games that came out this year. I'm not an Xbox One player, per se. I mean, I'm going to grab one, but per se, I'm not, I, I'd pick a PS4 over the Xbox One at this point. But I'm really looking forward to 2015 for the Xbox One as well. Ori and the Blind Forest is coming out. Halo 5 is coming out. Uh, unfortunately, Halo Master Chief Collection came out broken. And, uh, you know, we, we all know what happens there. Games that come out broken, people really feel bad about. Watch Dogs was one of them. Uh, that had lots of issues. Graphically, people thought it was underpowered. Games like Battlefield came out. Battlefield 4 came out. And people were very unimpressed with uh, the network of that game. Uh, and so when games come out, it just leaves a sour taste in the mouth of gamers and consumers worldwide. Master Chief Collection is one that I never thought would come out broken. But in 2014, strange things happen. My game of the year pick, Bayonetta 2 for the Nintendo Wii U. Uh, and yeah, stranger things do happen, but the game is really awesome. Very fun to play. I hope you guys get a chance to play that. Leave a comment in the comment section below. Let me know what was your favorite game of 2014. What was the best gaming experience you had in 2014? And what was the worst? Or maybe some of your letdowns. Write a paragraph. I don't care. I'll read it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you all for hanging out with me this year. And I look forward to an even better 
2015. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.